Hello and welcome. Are you ready to learn how to build secure, enterprise ready web applications fast with minimal coding? Welcome to our course on Oracle Apex for Developers, your complete guide to building low code application on top of your Oracle database. Whether you are a developer, technical consultant, or a total beginner, this course will help you learn the Oracle Apex skill and build the real world applications with confidence. The first question will come to your mind is what is Apex? Oracle Apex, also known as Application Express, is Oracle's low-code development platform which lets you create modern, fully responsive applications using just browser on your computer. Now the question will come to your mind what Apex can do. Apex can quickly build the forms, dashboards, workflows, on top of the customer's data which is residing in Oracle database. So you can build the application anywhere and run anywhere. This is the concept of Apex. So Apex can be developed locally on your Windows computer. That is by installing the Oracle database, you can have a Apex application built on top of the database. You can export this Apex application from your Windows or Apple computer and you can import this into a Apex workspace which runs on the Oracle cloud or any autonomous transaction processing database. Apex is using very simple concept, build anywhere, deploy anywhere, run anywhere. So Apex can automate your manual spreadsheet based processes. So instead of working on multiple Excel spreadsheets, you can streamline your business processes. That is, you can create a centralized application where users can log in to that particular application and they can populate the business data at one place instead of maintaining a separate Excel sheets locally on their computers. We can build the apps that is from prototype and make it live in just few hours. We can leverage the existing customer data which is residing on your Oracle database by just installing the Apex. So you can install Apex anywhere in any of the Oracle databases, not only on the ATP database. Suppose if you are going for the ATP database, then Apex comes out of the box in autonomous transaction processing databases. And on top of that, Apex is absolutely free of cost. There is no charge on the number of users accessing the Apex. There is no charge on the ingress or outgress traffic that is in and out traffic from the Apex like any other local application platforms provided by a lot of vendors across the globe. So this is absolutely free of cost. Your customer has to just pay for the Oracle database. Now comes the practical use cases where Apex could be used. Apex could be used to build the approval workflows. You can have a very good user interface built in order to show the workflow. Also, you can have a number of possibilities in the workflows like you can build a custom screens to approve reject the workflows that is for the user task. Also, you can build the dashboards that is to show the management or enterprise data. You can build the inventory and tracking systems. All the applications or the forms which you develop with Apex are responsive, which means you have to write the application only once and the same application will run seamlessly on any kind of mobile devices or tablets or computers. It can run seamlessly in any of the varying screen sizes. You can build internal HR finance tools. Also with the latest release, you can build Oracle Fusion extensions with the help of Apex. You don't have to depend on any other low-code development tools. Now you can build all these use cases without needing to learn the JavaScript framework or complex backend programming. Just with the help of drag and drop, you can build very good interactive responsive web applications. Now what you will learn with this course? In this course, we will learn how we can get started with the Apex journey for developers, how we can create the Apex workspace that is for absolutely free of cost. You don't have to have any kind of installation on your computer. Just you need the browser and you are good to go. We will learn how we can create an app builder. We will see what and all features are available in the application builder framework or in the designer view for the Apex workspace. Also, we will learn all the features which are available as part of SQL workshop. So we will learn what are these terminologies like app builder, SQL workshop, so and so forth going ahead in this course. We will also learn how we will use the team development feature available in the Apex workspace. Also, we will learn how we can make use of the inbuilt applications which are readily available as a startup applications in the gallery. So, we will learn much more than this. Now, here is the simple screenshot how Apex will work. 
as i told earlier to work with apex we just need a browser on your computer we don't need any client software installed on your computer which makes working with apex seamlessly with the help of browser based id now all the definitions are not stored in the file locally in the browser or in the computer all the app definitions are stored in the database as a metadata there is no code generation everything will be processed and managed by oracle so there will be only one request which will be sent from the browser to the backend there are no multiple requests back and forth so all the validations authentications processing of the data and updating the data on the screen will be taken care by the procedures and the backend database so all the processing manipulations authentications will be done by oracle in the database there will be only one request from browser to the backend and from backend to browser as a response now here comes the architecture that is a three layer architecture on how apex works when the user logs into the application using the browser so there will be one request which will be made to the backend that is the oracle database and it will be routed through the ORDS also known as the oracle rich data services these are https protocols so it can talk with the browser very easily so there will be one request which will be made from browser to the ORDS and ORDS will communicate with the backend oracle database using JDBC or any other protocol which is been decided by oracle so all the authentication of the user manipulation loading of the data and showing on the screen everything is done by the metadata which is stored right into the oracle database so once oracle database authenticates the user it will return the response and it will tell the browser what it has to show on the screen so there is no manual file loading that is happening on the browser all the data processing authentication security management of data and updating the data on the screen will be done right from the oracle database suppose if you just click on the view more option on the particular request on your application then what user has to see on the browser all those information will be coming from the oracle database based on the user actions so this is a three layer simple architecture on how oracle apex works so if you are ready to build powerful applications transform the way your team works or even start a new career path with oracle apex then enroll now and let's get started i will be right there with you every step of the way let's build something amazing together